Hey guys, Lawrence here from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I'll do a quick demonstration on how to use the pavilion theme using the default skin with OpenCart 2.0. So here we're looking at the pavilion theme um, using the default skin. And basically, I want to do a walkthrough from the top menu area to all the way down to the footer and talk about where each of these elements are located which will give you a good foundation on where to find things so you can start building your store. So let's get started. Here I'm in the backend dashboard of OpenCart 2.0 and I've already installed the pavilion theme and imported the sample data. As you can see, the P icon here stands for pavilion. Click the icon to access the pavilion control panel which provides you with the graphical interface and tools to control various aspects of your website. So let's do a quick overview of the control panel. Here in the theme settings, you can change theme fonts, colors, set up the main menu, and etc. Page Builder replaces the default OpenCart module and layout functionality. The concept is similar to Visual Composer for WordPress. If you open up the documentation, you have visual representation of the page builder areas highlighted in orange. Last one is the fire slider. And here you can create powerful sites and banners for your web store. To view the web store, you can just click on this live preview. So let's start from the top menu area. To modify this, Go to Theme Settings, Store, Menu. And you can see all the blocks being used in here. To change the order of the menu, simply click and drag the blocks. So for example, if I want to move Brands after the Shop menu, drag the Brands block under the Shop. Click Save Settings to see the change. To create the child menu items, like the ones you see in the home menu, you have to position the blocks slightly to the right. Scroll down and in here you can add menu items. Let's add a category by clicking the plus icon next to the tables. Click save to update. Next we have the fire slider. Click the page builder and in the content, you can see the fire slider block with the other blocks. So the second block is the tabs, which is this section here. And if you scroll down, you have three banners and so on. I also want to mention that you can access all the blocks by clicking this Show Blocks tab on the side. Move your mouse over the Fire Slider block to edit by clicking the pencil icon. It tells you here which slider is being used. And you also have access to other sliders you created. Let's take a look at how this was built. Close this window and go to Fire Slider at the top here. You can see all the sliders here. The one we're using is the Home Slider. Click Edit and you can see the background image here for the slide 1. You also have slide number 2, which is this one, and slide 3, the video. Let's go back to slide 1. And you might be wondering, where can I see the other elements? Those can be found inside the layers. Click the layers to see the 11 layers used to create slide number 1. The first layer is the Buy Theme button you see here. Second layer is the Shirts and Blouses from $10 title. And to position these layers, you go to Styles and change the position in pixels in here. I'm going to change the left position from 600 to 100 so it moves all the way to the left. Click Save Slider and go to Theme Settings. Click the Save Settings to see the update. Next, let's work on the Latest, Best Sellers, and Specials tabs. Go to the Page Builder. Row number 2 is the Tabs Accordion block. Click Edit, and here you can rename the tab titles and also change the order of the labels by dragging to the new position. To populate each tab with products, click this plus icon 
and you'll see three additional blocks. These featured product blocks go in order. So the first one is the latest tab, second one is the best sellers, and the last one is specials. Here in the best sellers tab, I only have one product. Let's add more products by editing the second featured products, which is the best sellers tab. Click this pencil icon to edit. Go to choose products. Here you can filter products by the category. Currently, it's set to all. To add products, click the plus icon. I'm going to add three more products. Click update settings and save content settings. Click the best sellers tab and you can see the three new products here. If you want to add additional tabs blocks under the current one, simply click the show blocks tab on the side. Drag the tabs accordion block underneath the current one and add product blocks such as the latest products, best seller products, etc. I'm going to click the plus icon here and you can drag the product blocks in here. I'm going to delete this and move on to the next area. Row number three, we have three banners here. Let's take a look at how to add this 20 plus custom blocks title, the banner image, and changing the color when you hover your mouse over the image. Click edit and here in line one, you can see the title and the link here. You can replace the image by just clicking this thumbnail. Hover effect is set to color overlay. You can have the option to change this to image zoom. To change the color overlay, click the styles tab, colors, and you can change the hover color here. Next, we have the latest reviews, clearance, and latest articles. The first two, I think you can figure out how to create now. The third one you might have trouble finding, which is the latest articles. This is created using the stories list block, which essentially is the blog list. You might try to find the articles by clicking the edit, but you won't find it in here. To access the articles, you actually have to go outside the pavilion control panel, go to extensions, modules, and scroll down to stories, and click edit. Here you have access to all the blog articles. Let's go back to the pavilion control panel and quickly look at the last two content blocks. Here is the manufacturer's block. And to add more brand logos, you can go to catalog, manufacturers. Last content block here is the call to action block. Here you can add your own button, change the icon, and text in here. Let's close this and the last one we'll touch base on is the footer. So go to footer and you can see all the blocks used here. I want to talk about how to change the background color. So for row number three, if I want to change the background color for this area, you can click this pencil icon, go to background, and let's change the color to orange. Click update row settings and save footer settings to see the change. This change applies to all the pages because it is currently set to global. If you want to have different background color only for the home page, from the drop down menu, select home. Click edit and let's change the background color to green. You can see the home page footer here with the new color. Let's go to different page by clicking about us. Scroll down and you can see it kept the orange in this page. That is because we only changed the color for the home page. This feature is not limited to home page. You can have unique colors to any other pages by going to the drop down menu and select the page you want to change. So guys, I hope this gave you a good overview of how to use the pavilion theme. I have more videos in the works, so please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.